definitions of trigonometric functions so there are six trigonometric functions in order to define them let me draw a right angled triangle in one of the quadrants of the cartesian coordinate system so i'll be taking the first quadrant let me draw an angle theta in the cartesian coordinate system particularly in first quadrant where both the values of x axis and y axis are positive let this be x axis and this be y axis and let this be angle theta so this will be the origin of the axis o let this point here be P. So, P will have X coordinate value and Y coordinate value. OP will be the terminal side of our angle theta. Here we can see that the initial position of the ray OP is coinciding with the X axis. Next, let me draw a line PM perpendicular to X axis. This will be M. PM is perpendicular to the X axis. The angle here will be 90 degrees. The side of the triangle which is opposite to the right angle part of the triangle is the hypotenuse side so this is the hypotenuse side the side of the triangle which is opposite to the angle theta is the opposite side of the triangle and the side of the triangle which is adjacent to the angle theta is the adjacent side of the triangle this side om is made up of the x coordinate of the value p so x and this side pm of the triangle is made up of y coordinate of the point p so opposite side will have the value y whereas the hypotenuse here we don't know the value of the length op or the distance of p from o we don't know the distance of o and p let that be r so now according to pythagorean theorem for all r square is equal to x square plus y square so therefore r is the square root of x square plus y square so we can find out the value of r by taking the square root of x square plus y square note that the value of r is always positive because it is the measure of distance of o and p distances are never negative but the value of x and y can be positive or negative depending on which quadrant the terminal side of the angle lies so here it is in first quadrant that is both x and y axis both are positive so here both x and y coordinates are positive so there are six trigonometric functions of theta and those are first one will be sine theta second one is cosine theta third one is tangent theta and the next three trigonometric functions are the reciprocal of previous three trigonometric functions fourth one is cosecant theta fifth one is secant theta sixth one is cotangent theta sine theta can also be written as sine that is S I N theta. It is the ratio of opposite side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse side of the triangle. Opposite divided by hypotenuse. This can be rewritten as sine theta. So opposite side of the triangle is nothing but the value of y coordinate. It is y divided by the hypotenuse side of the triangle is nothing but the value of r which is always positive. So y divided by r. Next just cosine theta. Cosine theta is the ratio of adjacent side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse side of the triangle so cosine theta can be also written as cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse side adjacent side of the triangle is nothing but the value of the x coordinate and hypotenuse side of the triangle is nothing but the value of r which is always positive so therefore cos theta is equal to adjacent that is x divided by hypotenuse which is r next just tangent theta tangent theta is nothing but the ratio of the previous two functions that is sine theta by cosine theta so tangent theta can also be written as tan theta which is the ratio of previous two functions that is sine theta by cos theta but this the value of sine theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse and which is divided by cos theta and the value of cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent divided by hypotenuse 
hypotenuse. So hypotenuse side, hypotenuse side cancel out each other and we are left out with opposite divided by the adjacent side. So the value of tan theta will be opposite divided by adjacent. That is ratio of opposite side divided by the adjacent side. The value of opposite side is the y coordinate and the value of adjacent side is the x coordinate. Tan theta equal to y divided by x. Next three functions are reciprocal of the previous three functions. Cosecant theta. Cosecant theta can be written as cosec theta which is the reciprocal of sin theta. 1 divided by sin theta which is equal to hypotenuse divided by opposite. The value of opposite side is y and the value of hypotenuse side is r. So it is r divided by y and secant theta can also be rewritten as sec theta which is the reciprocal of cos theta. So it is 1 by cos theta which is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent where the hypotenuse is the value of r and the adjacent is the value of x. Secant theta will be r divided by x. Next one is the cotangent theta. Cotangent theta can also be written as cot theta. It is the reciprocal of tan theta. So 1 by tan theta which is equal to adjacent divided by opposite which is equal to x divided by y. x divided by y. These are the basic definitions of trigonometric functions of theta where angle theta is in first quadrant. Next when it comes to second, third and fourth quadrant the value of x and y will change depending on the axis that is depending on the negative x axis and negative y axis. So the signs of trigonometric functions which will also change that we'll be seeing in the next video. If you understood the concept subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.